every yes. day Americans who care Jimmy. yeah it's amazing mm -hmm. all the outpouring of support right now Angela thank you so much and now many lawmakers are asking questions about the security failures that allowed the shooting to happen in the first place NBC News reporting a senior Secret Service source familiar with the planning of the events at the roof where the shooter was located was a well-known high priority vulnerability it was identified just the day before during a security walkthrough and former Secret Service agents have also asked how the gunman was even able to get set up on that roof, let alone open fire. The National Desk's Christine Frizzau is live on Capitol Hill where lawmakers are beginning an investigation. What have you learned, Christine? Yeah, that's right, Jan. The House Oversight Committee already sent a letter to Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle summoning her to testify on Capitol Hill one week from today. House Speaker Mike Johnson said Congress will conduct a full investigation to determine where there were security lapses. And Missouri Senator Josh Hawley demanded a full investigation by the Secret Service. Um, he, uh, another congressman, Mike Walls, claimed the uh, Alejandro Mayorkas denied repeated requests by the Trump team to increase Secret Service protection. Florida Congressman and former U.S. Army sniper Corey Mills put it this way. If you saw someone climbing onto a roof that you hadn't authorized any clearance on, it's got a clear line of sight. It's exactly adjacent to the shooting where the president was sitting, and you're talking about a pop shot, and you've got people yelling. Bottom line is, is that this is massive negligence to the point of me speculating on what was intentional and what wasn't. The Secret Service denies the claim, a spokesperson saying they added protective resources and technology and capabilities as part of the, as part of the increased campaign travel tempo. But critics are also calling out Secret Service Director Cheadle for not publicly speaking herself and that when Secret Service representatives did speak, they refused to answer questions about Saturday's attack. I'm Christine Frizzell for The National Desk.